to see Bernie's speech so you can get inside this right over here this area over here but the line is stretched around it's crazy look at this and now I gotta go get the line announced his campaign than the Latino community. And I would like my transgender brothers and sisters to feel safe and not to So, to Bernie, to all of us, let me quote Harvey Milk. You gotta give him hope. That's why we're here today. Thank you. Good afternoon, friends. Bernie Sanders' platform is about freedom, it's about dignity, and it's about 21st century patriotism. Today, I want to... Everyone will have the 
opportunity to seize opportunity. I bring you words, sisters and brothers, from another person in history. See, people don't want to talk about history, especially when it comes to our candidate, because they know they can't hold up to all the receipts we got. All the receipts. So President Teddy Roosevelt said these words. He said, this country will not be a place for any of us to live in unless we make it a good place for all of us to live in. What the people want is simple. A good place to live for all of us. I can merge Congresswoman Barbara Jordan and President Teddy Roosevelt together. What we have in Senator Bernie Sanders is in the words of Dr. Cornell West, a long distance runner for justice. Yeah. Is in the words of Killer Mike when he was interviewed and asked the question, why Senator Bernie Sanders? He said, you need Professor X for Magneto. Can I get me another? <laughs>
We will not allow three families in this country to own more wealth than the bottom half of American society. But at the same time, more than 20% of our children live in poverty. We have veterans sleeping out on the street here in San Francisco. And 30 million Americans have no health insurance at all. That is not a just society. But despite all of that, everything being equal, the younger generation today, unless we change it, will have a lower standard of living than their parents. But why is that taking place? This is the richest country on earth. Worker productivity is up. Our job is to see our younger generation do better than their parents, not worse than their parents. I have four kids and seven grandchildren, and you just met a few of them right here. We believe that downward mobility is not acceptable. This campaign is about moving up, not down. But it is not just a struggle for economic justice that we have got to wage. It is a struggle for political justice as well. What does that mean? What it means is that to me, and I know to you, democracy means one person, one vote, not billionaires, buying elections. I don't want mass collapse. Here it is. Radical idea. Raising the minimum wage to a living wage. Oh my God. Imagine. Imagine how radical that idea is. All right, here's another one. You ready for another one? I don't want you fainting in shock. We have some people seated. That's good. All right. Guaranteeing health care to all people as a right. How radical can you get to do in America what every other major country on earth does? Here's another radical idea. But in the richest country in the history of the world, maybe we should not have an infrastructure roads, bridges, water systems that are collapsing. Oh, wow! And how extreme can you be to ask to create a situation where when people turn on their water faucet, the water comes out and it's clean and drinkable? this as deeply as I can. I'm a United States Senator and therefore I have a huge ego. That goes with the joke. Every Senator does. But this is what I believe. This campaign is not about me. It is about us. And I'll tell you why it is about us. It is not just that that phrase makes a good bumper sticker. Actually, it does. Maybe we'll use it. But here is the main point that I think I want to make to you all today. And I don't think there are going to be any other candidates who will make this point. And here's the truth. The truth is that no president, not Bernie Sanders, not anybody else, no president, no matter how honest and well-intentioned he or she may be, can do it alone. Okay, and I'll tell you why. And again, this is, media is not gonna talk about this too much, but this is the reality. The reality is that the people who own America, Wall Street, and the insurance companies, and the drug companies, and the military industrial complex, and the fossil fuel industry, they are 
are so powerful that no one person can do it alone. The only way we transform this country is the old fashioned way. And that is from the bottom on up. The only way workers, the only way workers ever got a decent standard of living is when they struggled and formed unions. The only way we ever ended segregation in this country was when we had a grassroots civil rights movement. The only way women have ever made the gains that they have is because we had a grassroots women's movement. The only way the gay community has received the dignity that they have is because of the gay movement. The only way we transform this country economically and politically is when millions of people from coast to coast stand up, look around them, and say the status quo is not good enough. We want real change. Family-based agriculture from Vermont to California. We have got to stand up to agribusiness.